<laughs> oh my god. Hi everyone. Woo! I look a little crazy now because I have been like like a mad scientist just putting my hands in my hair ah! in frustration um, because uh, for some reason Facebook is not letting me live stream on my um, laptop and I'm sure it's some glitch or something but uh, finally it took a while. I finally got my cell phone to work. <laughs> it is a little clunky. So, hi guys. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how I can get this to work without me going a little insane with the situation. I don't want to hold my hand up. Um, first of all, can you guys hear me okay? Can you get, let me know if you can hear me? Um, Hi, Pam. Hi, hi, Diane. Um, hi, Cindy. Can you guys hear me okay? Is there, can you hear me? Like, I have no idea. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, um, we're starting a little late. Sorry about that. And I guess I'm going to be uh, holding my hand up <sighs> the whole time. Uh, yeah, Facebook is definitely, uh, glitchy these days. Not quite sure what's going on with that, but I'm sure they're getting a lot more use than they're used to. Um, so, <laughs> awesome. Hi, everyone. Um, oh, hello, black cat. Well, you need to hop up here. So, anyway, um... Today we are going to start the uh, harness your, yeah, here, you see, what cat, here he is. <laughs> so today we're going to start the uh, harness your inner fire series. And um, just to be clear, uh, for April and May, June if necessary, I will be, uh, as often as I can, teaching free classes every Saturday morning at 11 and every Wednesday at 7.30. And uh, the purpose of this is because the um, Akashic Record librarians want me to share with as many people as possible the uh, skills that I have because they want us to come together and help manifest um, a healthier planet. Um, so my goal is, oh, and look, perfect timing to begin. 11-11. Uh, my goal for all of this is to help each and every one of you connect with your natural skills. Now, your natural skills may not be exactly my natural skills because we're different people, but um, feel welcome to keep in touch with me in comments. I'll tell you, I don't do Facebook Messenger that much. Um, just, I don't even have it on my phone, only on my computer because uh, people have a tendency to call me all times of day or night on it. And, um, uh, and I think in general, if your comment is like really, um, personal, then I will eventually get to Facebook messenger. If you're just saying hi, I may or may not respond. If you try to call me, I won't answer. I'll never call back. Um, but, uh, in general, if it's a general question, Put it in the comments because you know other people are wondering the same thing. What will usually happen is a question someone's embarrassed to ask is the one that everyone is wondering. And um, so, you know, that's also part of us coming together as a collective. <laughs> Get your butt out of my face. <laughs> okay. So, for the... <laughs> <laughs> for the Saturday classes, um, these are about working with your energy centers. Um, 
we all are experiencing <laughs> the, uh, the shifts here. You know, the skills that you've always had are like shifting a little bit. I mean, mine are, hi Debbie. Um, and the, uh, you know, people are picking up new skills and abilities or they're connecting with new frequencies or things are happening that we don't understand. Um, and the other thing that I see a lot of happening is, um, you know, we're able to go higher and to newer places. But as you guys know, like anyone who's done a group meditation, um, you're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great, you're following along with the meditation, and then suddenly it hits a frequency and you drop off. You're just like, I don't know. And then as the person guiding the meditation is coming back down, they pick you up on the way down. The goal of the Saturday meditations, yes, Black Cat is so happy to be like joining with today. So the goal of the Saturday meditation is, um, series, is to help each of us become uh, a strong enough energetic internal grid that when you are having experiences, you can maintain your um, consciousness, you can maintain your connection with higher and broader uh, work and connections and frequencies. <laughs> the cat's getting tangled up in my thing. Uh, and um, also so that you can connect with stronger, more powerful uh, collectives, races, mentors, whatever. Um, there was a time when... Um, I started doing this work. Now, I was used to connecting with my soul, with my spark self, and just like flying all around everywhere. But for myself, on my own, I, um, you know, I, I could only hold so much. And uh, so I started, I came up, like this Harness Your Inner Fire series was developed by me and uh, Doa who is a 2,400-year-old Buddhist nun from Thailand who uh, has spent a number of years working with me. Um, obviously, she is not physical, uh, but she's absolutely delightful with a great sense of humor. So, um, so we're going to work this series with you. This is, again, it's like weight training for energy work. And you're going to see that um, within a very short period of time, you're going to be comfortable connecting with very high frequencies and very divine beings. And like ascended masters will come and just be like chatting with you like they're your, you know, your next door neighbors, you know, or whatever. And um, you're like, wow, when did this happen? It's building the energy grid, building the energy uh, network within you uh, gives you the structural integrity to do this and it also helps you connecting with networks and grids out there because all they have to do is plug into your grid and then like one connection be like zzz, all this stuff happening it's awesome um, I will, after we're done today, post in the comment sections a few people I know who um, are doing similar kind of free tutorials for you guys to check out. Um, and if there's anyone that you know of that you think is totally awesome, please also share the resource in comment section. Now, the responsibility to every one of us is to vet the resource for our own personal use. Like someone I may think of as the best resource ever may leave you kind of, you know, unconnected, uninspired, and, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. So do your own vetting, feel what resonates with you at the moment. And because whatever resonates at the moment is what will help you get to your next stage. And then you get to your next stage and you're like, oh, okay, well, this was good, but now I want that. So you know, we're hitting a time of global rapid growth for all of us. Um, okay. 
So to begin, um, and first of all, thank you all for coming and joining today. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate our connection at this moment. Um, so to begin, we have the seven, eight chakra centers in our body that most of us work with. And as we go forward with this uh, class, you'll realize, you know, we think of these chakra centers, energy centers as that. It's like each major energy center is a little universe all on its own. You know, they're, uh, if you look at your heart chakra, your heart center, it's actually three major chakras connected as one. And then there's a chakra between your solar plexus and your heart that supports both of them and gives your heart chakra uh, extra support from the solar plexus because the solar plexus is action. And there's a micro chakra between your three heart centers that can work as one for three different connections to your throat chakra. So like there, there's like so much going on. We're going to be going into all of this individually every week. Um, and then I want to give a quick hit for my, <laughs> thank you. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but you know, um, logistically it just hasn't happened. I'm so excited to finally get this going. Now, Wednesday nights, we're going to be doing uh, message receiving classes. So please join with that um, starting this Wednesday night and then two more weeks after we're doing um, how to work, receive messages through like scrying, crystal ball, pendulum, stuff like that. The point of that is to open you up and get everyone very comfortable with receiving messages. And then we're going to start moving towards like uh, different ways of channeling messages. So between building your strong energy grid and connecting to, you know, getting comfortable receiving messages, it's all going to go up and up and up. Hi, good morning, Mary Lee. Uh, so I really, you know, if possible, try to join Saturday morning and Wednesday night. If you can't join live, don't even worry because, um, uh, you know, they're going to be on my Facebook page. And as soon as I get my act together, I'm going to also uh, put all of these on my YouTube channel, and which is the Bonita Woods YouTube, but they're not going to be organized. They are going to be organized and structured in the Bonita Woods online school. So I really recommend, and they're going to be free in the online school. I have a lot of free classes that are very well organized. So um, quick plug and request, please uh, register for the Bonita Woods uh, online school. It's bonitawoods.org. Click on online classes and it pops up the registration. And then you can attend all these classes in order along with like spoon bending and stuff. Uh, some classes, there's a fee and some are free. I mean, class series is, but all these ones on Facebook will be available free on there with little, uh, you know, worksheets and stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> so today we're working on the root chakra. Why is the root chakra so important? I know there's a lot of people who say, oh, I'm an angelic healer, so I need to just be very high. But like I said, if you are, go that's fine if you're going up into the angelic realm and you're working with the angels for your purpose of connecting with them for no reason other than that. But if your goal is to bring any angelic energy to earth, which by the way, we really need right now, then you need to be grounded. You need to be connected to earth so that the angelic energy can flow through you into earth. Also, you will never do powerful work. Well, not never, but I don't know how one could. If you know how, let me know. 
your most powerful work if you are not grounded with a like really strong steady base holding your energy how are you going to be able to go up high and powerful and wide and hold it so if anyone has techniques for that feel welcome to share however i have noticed every single very powerful healer and divine person that i've worked with they have strong grounded root chakras and their their work is amazing so uh today we're going to start with the root chakra when whew, that arm's getting tired whenever you're doing a meditation or working with your chakras for the purpose of this work that we're doing what i want you to do is always before you start any work open yourself up so you are a clear channel um, I recently did a live stream on healing blocked chakras, healing your anxiety, um, and that will also be posted with this class series in my online school for free. Um, when we're doing work like this, this is not self-healing work. This is channeling, grounding, conduit work, okay? So it doesn't matter like if you have a blocked chakra or if you have poor self-esteem or if you are self-abusive or whatever what matters is that you can put that aside and focus on the job at hand which is to be flowing with the energy okay so remember like when I'm working with helping others. I may be having a terrible day. I may have just had a big fight with my family. Maybe I'm like worried about like, I don't know, whatever stuff, you know, no one who comes into my office for a past life reading really cares about that. What they care about is they're putting money in my hand and they're opening up their trust and faith to me to share with them what past lives are with them the stories of these past lives and how they can take their life going forward to utilize all of this for their best self. So I put all of my stuff aside. You know what they say, when you go into work, you leave your personal life at the door and I become a divine conduit. I open up and flow with the energy. I can pick up my personal issues later if I want. So, um, that's what I'm going to ask of each and every one of you. It doesn't matter what issues you have. And, you know, you'll be amazed how the more you do this kind of work, when you look at your issues, you're like, oh, that seems like a really big issue before. Now I actually feel like I know the answer to it and it's not as big an issue as I thought. Or, you know, now that I'm connected with the divine frequency, the solution is so much easier because divine beings are helping me with it um and trust me that is a great side benefit of this so the first thing we do and whenever we work together this is always the first thing we do so if you work with me every class i totally recommend you take time to do this before the class so then you're already ready and when we do it together it's more impactful <coughs> hi Meryl hi um, so what you do is you want to open yourself up as a divine conduit what I do and this is what we're gonna do now but you can come up if you come up with variations that work great feel welcome to share them I tell my feet to relax so okay let me back up for divine conduit, since it doesn't matter what chakras are in the middle of your body, because you're just going to be flowing with divine energy, uh, don't worry, we'll bring the chakras back in. <laughs> um, hi, Lilac. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad. Um, so we'll bring the chakras back in once we're in the divine state. So again, um, I imagine my energy center as like an hourglass and my uh, crown chakra grows out very, very wide. It doesn't just come to my head. I mean, it does, but it also comes and connects to like my middle section, 
where then it flows back out for my root chakra. So right now we're inviting the crown chakra and the root chakra to be prevalent and all the other chakras are like, we're on vacation time. You guys got it from here. So, um, what you, what we're going to do then is just be flushing our bodies with energy. So invite your feet to relax from this point on. We have no need to micromanage our bodies. We have no need to dictate what will happen. We are going to start working with our bodies as the extraordinary functioning, uh, you know, beings that our bodies are. Keep in mind, we are eternal. Our bodies are eternal. <laughs> our, our bodies have a shelf life. Our souls do not. So we are going to acknowledge that our consciousness is connected with our soul level. Our body is connected with our physical level. And the physical level knows what to do. Like from the first moment you have been in life, your body has been breathing and it will breathe completely on its own without you telling it what to do until your last breath at which point you return to your soul. You know, your body knows how to digest food. It knows how to walk. It knows how to reach for things. It knows how to talk. It knows how to do everything you need it to do and you don't need to manage it. So we will let our bodies know what we request of it and our bodies will take it from there. The bottoms of our feet are the bottom part of our physical state, not the bottom part of our energetic or our soul state. So invite your feet to relax so that all the energy in your body is welcome to flow through, out of your body, through the bottom of your feet into earth. And you can feel your body starting to empty out. If there are any blocks or kinks to the energy flow, give it permission to relax and step aside for now. It's not necessary for this process. And if you have any areas that are emotional pain or energetic blocks in your body, acknowledge them and say, you know what, now that I'm aware of you, we will work later. Because trust me, we're going to be working on all of this in the coming weeks. <sighs> Invite the top of your head to relax and to open up. If you feel any pain or pressure in your head, around your head, behind your eyes, acknowledge it and give it permission to resolve itself. We do not need to micromanage anything. Our bodies know how to relax and release. Sometimes all they need is permission. Invite all the beautiful cosmic love and divine energy to flow in through the top of your head that you'll notice becomes increasingly more porous and light and airy as the energy is flowing in through the relaxed top of your head, filling your body, flowing through your body, down your legs, through your feet, down the bottom of your feet, deep into earth. As though you have become a waterfall, as though you are a pipe and water is flowing through you, energy is flowing through you, electric current is flowing through you, and it is all going one way from divine, from source, from the angels, from your guides, from your soul, in through the light and airy top of your head, 
down through your body, down your legs, through your feet, deep into earth. there are any parts of your body that are feeling tight, blocked, or shocked, acknowledge them, give them permission to resolve themselves, and return your awareness to the energy flowing in, down your crown chakra, into the top of your head, through your body, down your legs, through your feet, down into earth, where our beloved Gaia, Pakamama, absorbs this energy, transmutes it to the highest state of love, sends it off deep into earth for all of your nature brothers and sisters to consume, wallow in with gratitude and love. I'd like you to bring your awareness to that bottom part of the hourglass that I mentioned to the root chakra area. And be aware that this is a conical vision and invite the base of your hourglass root chakra to expand a little wider and a little deeper. And you'll notice by inviting your root chakra to go wider and deeper, it immediately alleviates any feeling of pressure in your body, alleviates any pressure inside your head, your root chakra should always be wider and deeper than your crown chakra is high or wide. So the energy that is coming in always has a wonderful resource to flow out of you deep into earth. Just like water flowing down a mountainside river it must always go down and it always gets wider as it gets closer to the ocean. At the bottom of your root chakra, you can take a moment to play with the shape of this cone. Feel what happens when you invite it to go deeper or wider. And what happens when you send it deeper but more narrow, wider but more shallow. You can feel the change in how the energy is flowing through your body. You might find yourself feeling a little queasy or feeling very sucked in. Take a moment and play with the depth and the width of your root chakra cone. And if at any point you feel uncomfortable with this, invite your root chakra to go to the width and the depth that it is comfortable with and it will naturally recalibrate. Wonderful. And now, let your root chakra go to a width and a depth that it's very comfortable in. And invite your crown chakra to expand a little wider or reach a little higher. And see how that affects the energy flowing in. Again, you may feel a little queasy or a little 
pressure or you may feel like too much energy is flowing in. So stay within, you know, semi-comfort. Stay within semi-comfort and play with it a little bit. And then invite your root chakra to automatically calibrate itself to the optimal depth and width for whatever you do to your crown chakra. And then invite your crown chakra to go a little higher and a little wider. And see what happens to your root chakra. It should go deeper and wider in an automatic response. Or it might take you a little practice to comfortably get to that point. Which is okay, because we'll be practicing this a lot. <laughs> you guys are doing great. So now allow your crown and your root chakra to flow naturally and comfortably. Let's take a look at our root chakras. A lot of times root chakras are imagined as balls of glowing light. And the root chakra, the primary energy is right around your hips and buttocks area, but really it extends from there all the way down into earth. Most people Picture their root chakra as a ball of red light. But really, this red light that we're seeing is the emanation of the chakra. Just as a light bulb is a fairly complicated little creature, and the glow is what's happening in the air around the light bulb and inside the light bulb. If you look in your root chakra, you will see it is actually a crossing of many lines of energy. Some of them are physical, like veins, arteries, organs, blood flowing, muscles, tissues. And some of these energy lines are, you know, etheric, are energy. Um, where two lines cross together or more, they spark a light, just like the inside of a light bulb. We have over 2,000 chakras in our bodies. The root chakra is like a chakra city. It has many, many, many chakras crossing each other very closely together. And the result is this beautiful energy orb that glows through it and around it. And the energy of this is a very earthy energy, hence the red color. People who have red in their auric field are very earth-connected, dependable, reliable. Every, I'm not going to say every, but many shamans that I work with have red in their aura. It may not be the primary color, but it's there because they are earth-connected and reliable. <laughs> They're grounded. Sorry, the cat tried to bite me. Uh, he's a bitey kind of cat. It's just what he does. Um, so many shamans who are working with nature energy 
and uh, are very grounded and magical and reliable. I'll see red in their aura. So let's feel our root chakras. Let your awareness just resonate in your root chakra. You may find as you're looking at your root chakra, your natural connection of the moment is really with the red light energy, or you may find yourself pulled inside and looking at all the little crossing lines of energy. You know, wherever, when you look at your root chakra and just go in and look at it, whatever comes to you is what is coming to you in the moment and it's perfect. So if you're welcome to dive in, let your awareness go right into the core of your root chakra and tap into it, tap into that energy and invite the root chakra to reveal to you what is best for you to be aware of at this moment. Your awareness may be physical, it may be visual, auditory. You may have memories of your life come and reveal themselves to you. You may have something that you need to acknowledge and release because there's some pain of old experiences hiding in there. Whatever comes forward is perfect at the moment. Acknowledge it, but do not allow it to overwhelm you. Acknowledge it, thank it for connecting with you, and invite it to do whatever it wants or needs to do. Now that you're connected with your root chakra, take a moment to just feel the presence of it. The root chakra is connected with all physical reality. When you think about it, the, the root chakra is the fullest connection to Mother Earth, to Gaia. It allows you to connect with the planet, animals, nature, crystals, water. Invite your root chakra to just resonate with whatever energy of groundedness it feels most comfortable with at this moment. and let that power flow into you, you'll find where your root chakra connects, it feeds, it absorbs. You can feel the power flowing in from your connection and lighting the energy of your root chakra. Allow your root chakra to just, with its own comfort, utilize this energy. It may grow or it just may become brighter or you may find certain areas in your root chakra light up. That's fantastic. Invite your root chakra to send its love and support to your entire body. Let your entire body feel grounded, one with nature. 
as though Gaia is wrapping her arms around you and whispering in your ear, you are connected, we are one. And let all of that wonderful warm resonance of red chakra energy fill your body, fill your soul, flow in you and around you as you feel how grounded and connected you are. Let this energy flow into every aspect of your body, including any areas that feel, you know, blocked or kinked or whatever. Any emotions you're having or self-doubts, invite the root chakra energy to flow in and become one with your full being. As though you, your physical body, is a tea bag and you are dipping yourself into a cup of warm, welcoming root chakra. That is beautiful. Imprint with this moment. Resonate with it and remember it. So that as you go through your day and tonight and tomorrow you can return to this feeling, this experience, with just a thought and a request. Okay. And now, everyone, come on back. Let's return to here. Give yourself the chance to come back at your comfort and your ease. There's no rush. Welcome back, everyone. Feel yourself connected to earth, grounded. Feel the power of your root chakra. Your root chakra, which supports all of the energetic work that you do. So as you go forward with your day, thank you, as you go forward with your day and your week, your challenge for this week is to connect with your root chakra and work with your root chakra, invite your root chakra to give you messages and understand whatever comes to you is going to be filled with love and support. Some of you said you're having trouble with sound. I don't know if that's your end or my end. You know, the electronics are being, Facebook is being a little freaky today. But hopefully, hopefully in the, uh, re this is recorded with audio. <laughs> If not, we may have to repeat the class again at another time. <laughs> yes. Yes, Lori, that is a beautiful comment. Yes, every time you meditate, invite your root chakra to go deep and wide, rooted into Gaia. So play with your root chakra this week. Have fun with it. 
And yes, share this, you know, with anyone you want. The whole point of this series is so that as many of us as possible. Oh, great, great. I'm glad that the sound worked for you, Pamela. The point of this is so that as many of us as possible can become strong, proud, structured healers to help our planet with, and to help ourselves and to connect with our wonderful guides. I mean, it is my goal that by sometime in June, you guys, or earlier, who knows, you guys are all going to be saying, I have found my natural skill, my natural connection for now. And, um, <laughs> and that you're saying, I am flowing with messages. I'm nipping off to other dimensions. I'm, you know, whatever it is that you have contracted to be and do in this life. And it doesn't matter if you are here to heal the planet or if you are here to be there for your family, or if you're here to just grow your natural skill set, Let's get it optimum for you. Let's just make things fun and exciting and connected and help each of you become the powerhouse of love that, that you, you're meant to be. Um, and you are, we all are. So thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, play with your root chakra, have fun with it. Um, and I will, um, tomorrow, Sunday, I'm not doing any live stream. I don't think unless it's a spontaneous one because, uh, my mom is an amazing photographer and tomorrow we're all putting on fun costumes and posing for her. Um, yeah, so, but I'll be back Monday, I'm sure. I'll probably do something spontaneous tomorrow short. Um, thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, again, if you have questions, post them in comments. And, uh, you know, next week we are going to work with our sacral chakra, which is like my favorite because that is the seat of inspiration and thank you Debbie it is the seat of inspiration creative intuition and it is the easiest way for your guides and your guardian angel to give you messages so um, I mean we all know about our gut instincts right the sacral chakra is awesome absolutely my favorite and I can't wait next Saturday we're gonna work with our sacral chakra we're going to power it up and then we're going to get our root chakra going up and we'll let our sacral chakra get powered by the root chakra. Our root chakra that will be connected to Gaia and all physical reality and all nature. So lovely. Play with your, sacral, your root chakra and then tomorrow we'll, next Saturday, next Saturday we will fire up our sacral. I love you guys. Thank you. And, you know, watch the video again, especially if you've spaced out during the meditation. That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay. Mwah.